All right, it's Fan Fridays. It's me, Bomani, Mina Kimes, and Matt Barry is joining us. Uh, we lost Chadwick Bozeman this week at the age of 43 to colon cancer. Rest in peace to him. Condolences to his family. And we thought this would be a good time to kind of look back at some of our favorite sports movies. So, Matt, what you got? Your top three sports movies. Yeah, Bo, I'm a, I'm a football nerd, and I love football movies that tell real-life stories. So, for me, my th- Three favorite sports movies, all football. Remember the Titans. I love the story that that tells with high schools in Virginia where two sets of players from two different walks of life were brought together by the sport and ultimately ended up being friends for life. And that just teaches so many lessons. I would make everybody watch that movie right now for the lessons that that movie taught. So I'm a big Remember the Titans fan. And anything with Denzel Washington in, sign me up. Uh, 100%. Second one's Rudy. The story in Rudy's simple. Anybody who's overlooked because of something in their life they can't control, in Rudy's case, he was too small to play big time Division I college football. He took advantage of what he could control, which was his passion, and ended up making it on a Notre Dame home game. He was off sides, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Thirty, awesome movie. My third favorite sports movie, We Are Marshall. And again, the story there is how do you persevere through tragedy when everyone thinks it's impossible? And when you look at that movie and what they were able to do, and I was able to do a speaking event with that, their Marshall head coach at the time that had to lead that team after the tragedy and the plane crash, what that shows of not only that coach and that, those players that had to deal with that tragedy, to me, it was one of the greatest stories in college football history. So if you look at all three of those movies with what they all represent, if you take it outside of just the Hollywood of it, I think those are three excellent films to really teach everybody lessons in life that we can all control. All right, Mina, what are your three? Unsurprisingly, a couple football movies, being that that is my favorite sport. Uh, I'm going to start with Friday Night Lights. So I should preface this by saying I actually think the TV show was better than the movie. That's how much I like the TV show, okay, which I think is one of the best television shows of all time. Uh, the movie, of course, is also a cinematic masterpiece based on the book by Buzz Bissinger about a small town in Texas and the high school football team there. In the movie, the coach is played by Billy Bob Thorne. It's, it's just a really special film. It's beautifully shot and told and acted. Um, and another football movie I'm going to go to any given Sunday. So this movie's interesting because in some ways it's aged poorly like the way it's edited and shot feels kind of dated and strange um but in other ways it's very forward thinking it's it's the story of a quarterback Willie Beeman who takes over and there's a point in the movie uh, where he's giving a speech to the head coach Al Pacino about being a dual threat black quarterback that honestly it explains so much of football over the last 20 years. I recommend people see that if they haven't. Third movie, I'm gonna go with A League of Their Own, not a football movie, which kind of similarly to Remember the Titans uh, ranks very high on the movies that substitute teachers would show you in class when the teacher was out. Uh, also is uh, you know a movie about history, but just powerhouse performances from Gina Davis, Tom Hanks, that movie actually ages really well you could see it getting made today it's just a really cool fun story well i can sum up my three by saying i basically had like matt berry's list and kind of went the opposite direction my three all about basketball it just so happens white men can't jump which is a story about a degenerate gambler and his jeopardy playing girlfriend who wins all the money at jeopardy and then ultimately leaves him because he loses her money gambling on basketball uh, he got game, which is the most true to life recruiting story that there has ever been, which therefore makes it a lot less warm and cuddly than some people would prefer. And number three, above the rim, which is about basketball in its own like little sort of sort of way there. I don't think there's an analogous character to Rudy in any of those situations. But, you know, there's some stuff that's pretty tragic. I lie. We are Marshall. You know what I love about all of our lists is that when, you, when we're talking about them you just realize how many good sports movies there are. Like Billy Ho might be one of the greatest. (laughs) Yes. And lent his name to every white basketball player who just showed up and started hooping forever. They are all Billy Ho. Every single one of them is Billy Ho. Uh, You know what? You talk about basketball movies. Now I want to change a league of their own to love and basketball, which is a movie I love so much that I've watched it maybe five times. Um, 
it, it, that that's going to be my new pick. I'm going to brief change. Yeah, I, I, I saw that on several dates. Thank you for the memories, King Wakanda forever.